How does a DC motor work? After talking about the history and the basic principles of electric motors, after demonstrating the Lorentz force principle, after building a small version of a DC motor with everyday materials, after having disassembled a real version of a DC motor. In this video, we are going to explain in detail the functioning of a DC motor. Let us take the example of the most simple version of a DC motor. This is the stator which is responsible for the creation of a magnetic field. This is the armature with a simple copper coil and represents the rotating part of this engine. The armature receives the electric current thanks to its connection with the collector. Like we've already seen in our last experiment, the Lorentz force was responsible for the rotation of the tin wire. The wire was immersed in a magnetic field, and while the electricity flowed into it, a perpendicular force acted on it, letting the rotation happen. Here again, the Lorentz force is responsible for the rotation of the copper coil. In fact, when the electricity flows through the coil, an electromagnetic force acts on it. These are the brushes which allow the electricity to flow into the copper coil of our engine. When the electricity flows into the coil, we notice that on the left side of the coil, the electricity will always flow away from us, while on the right side, electricity will always flow towards us. This ensures that the torque action is also in the same direction throughout the motion of the coil. But in this situation, we are led to believe that the torque action is not the same during the whole rotation of the coil. In fact, we can notice a slowdown of the rotation when the coil is nearly perpendicular to the magnetic field flux. That's because in this position, the value of the torque action is near zero. By adding a second coil to the rotor, the rotation will be more regular since, in this way, when the first coil is in the vertical position, the second coil will be connected to the power source, so that the motor force will be always present in the system. The presence of more coils into the rotor will make the rotation smoother. The brushes are pushed against the collector through some springs, allowing the current flow to not be altered when the brushes are consuming due to their mechanical friction with the commutator. Finally, if you found this video useful, let us know by leaving a comment and subscribing to our YouTube channel to stay tuned on the release of new videos. Thanks for watching.